Hey guys, and welcome back to the XSE tutorial videos. Um, this is going to be the second one in the lineup. Um, the first one was just pretty much an intro, but this one's actually going to get more in detail into the tools that we use in the videos. So let's get started. The uh, first couple of tools that we actually use are um, fairly easy to get a hold of. Um, I'll try to put links in the description that pretty much send you straight to where to download them. Some of them you might actually have to Google. I'm not sure about the whole, you know, link this stuff straight in description thing. I don't know if that's frowned upon or not, but I will pretty much post the main things and then the other things, um, give or take, they may all have links. Um, I don't know yet, but anyways, check the description and you'll find most of the stuff, if not all of it. Um, so this is my hack tools folder. Um, this actually has a folder for every tool I guess that I've tried um, some of these have succeeded some of them are big failures it's give or take try, trial and error so um, let's go ahead and get started this will be a fairly quick video it's just going to basically tell you which ones I use which ones will be used and um, which ones you might need to get a hold of if you want to do some of the tutorials later on so the main one that we're going to be using that is pretty much the basis of the whole entire channel is XSE, which is um, Extreme Script Editor. Um, this is a program developed by HackMew, which is um, a great developer for the uh, Pokemon hacking community. Um, it's a program um, similar to PokeScript, which is a, another simple way of scripting. Um, this one is a lot more detailed. There's a lot more to do, and it's very helpful. It's very kind to new people that are new to scripting. It's also very um, elaborate, so you know you can actually be an advanced user and still use this. So it's great for everybody. I've been using PokeScript for about a week, and then I just kind of fell into XSE. I realized that I should have been starting with it. So if you're new to this, start with XSE. Even though PokeScript may look kind of easier, it's also a lot more buggy. So that's X program that you'll need, which is also in the folder. Is um, these kind of go hand in hand to get together? Um, Free Space Finder. Um, Free Space Finder is pretty much the uh, metal detector to finding space within the ROM. The ROM's not actually full technically, with you know memory wise. Um, so this actually lets you find memory that's available to use for whatever your script need may be. Um, so you'll definitely need this to have anything that you type up in this to work. The last main little item that you'll have to have, and I say main, so there's a bunch of tiny little side carts that you can go with. Um, so the last main one you'll need is advanced map. Advanced map pretty much glues everything together. Um, Free space finder found the space. You typed up the script. You laid the script in the space. You uh, basically pointed it to that area. And then you apply it to whatever you're trying to apply it to, whether it be a sprite, a Pokemon, a piece of grass, whatever you're trying to apply it to, you do it in advanced map. So it's kind of like a triangle. They all work together. They all need sort of each other if you're trying to hack. So this is definitely something you'll need. There's different versions of advanced map. If you're shooting with a you know 1.90 something below that um, then you might need to upgrade to be on par with my videos. Uh, these videos will be under advanced map 1.95 and I know there's a UI difference in it and actually has caused a lot of questions so if you're up to date that's awesome. If you're not, then I would definitely figure out how to convert some of the stuff that I show off into your own version of Advanced Map. Other than that, um, there's a couple of like little shoot programs that do a couple of more bells and whistles to your hack. Um, Advanced Smart actually adds a function, or, or it's basically a functioning program to show the whole region and all the marts, the Pokemarts. And you get to edit all the items that are sold and what the prices are. So that's pretty handy. Um, it's definitely a bells and whistle kind of program. Um, 
Uh, a starter um, or advanced starter is actually another program you might want. Um, it lets you set up the three Pokemon you have to choose from. It also lets you set up your rival's three Pokemon to choose from. So you get to change the uh, item they're holding, the level that you start out with. It's actually very cool, um, very easy. Um, the next thing I would probably just download to keep in the closet is advanced text. I don't know how many times you'll use this. I don't use it very often, but um, this lets you enable. This enables you to edit all the text that's previously in the game from the get-go. Um, so none, nothing script-related in terms of what you've added, but what's already been in the game functioning straight out of the box as you play it. You can edit what everybody says. Um, a trainers, the next one. A trainers, a great program that lets you edit, add trainers. You get to change the Pokemon they have, the levels, the items they carry, the moves they use. It's very elaborate, and that's a good thing because we want choice. Um, there's also a hex editor, which this isn't a particular one. I forgot which one I have installed, but. You, they're pretty much all the same. Um, hex editing in Pokemon games is uh, pretty common. I'm not going to say it's like rare, but it's it's fairly common. Um, I'm not so advanced that I can jump right into it and start changing codes left and right, but with enough pictures, I can actually change whatever I'm looking at. Um, which, for example, running indoors with the running shoes is impossible. Uh, straight out of the box but if you use a hex editor and you follow this simple tutorial that I can link to later you can actually run indoors and it's beautiful so hex editor comes in handy in small cases other than that um, outside of the shiny eyeser which I can get to work one out of ten times I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly but I can go you know basically step by step tutorial wise and I mean, the end result is a, a crashed game um, until I change the script to get rid of the new file I put in. But some other people might actually get it to work, so I may show a video later on that. Um, the last two are Trader and Yap. Um, Trader Advanced actually lets you edit the in game trades, and you can add more if you have enough space in your ROM. Um, it's really cool and it actually works, so I'm very happy to have a program like that. And the last one is Yap, and it stands for Yet Another Pokemon Editor. It is so elaborate, you'll spend forever in it if you don't watch it. Um, I've done that quite a few times. Um, you can edit stats, you can edit EVs, you can edit um, your types, abilities, held items, miscellaneous stats, experience data. You can go to other stats and evolutions. You can change the evolution drastically. Um, you can make Pokemon evolve from just levels, no more stones. Um, Caterpie evolve at 10, Metapod evolve at 20. You know, whatever you want to. You can edit the moves they learn, edit the Pokedex entry. It's very cool. It's an awesome program. I definitely recommend it. But that's pretty much the gist of it. I'll go into more detail about these programs whenever the time comes about and we need them. Other than that, they will just kind of sit in this folder, and I suggest that everyone downloads whichever ones they feel like they will use. Don't get them all if you're not going to use them all, but it's not bad to have them, you know, sitting around so you can use them whenever you need them. But that is the end of this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. The next video will show the first tutorial and uh, we'll get things started.